what is up y'all and welcome back to another video as you can see by the title today i'm going to be showing you guys all of my effective beauty treatments that i like to do from home that will really help you save not only save money but also just to improve the look of your skin all of these tools i think are pretty easy i'm always showing you guys products and the other day I was just thinking I have so many tools that I use with these products that really enhance, that really like enhance and help the products work better. So I'm going to be showing you guys that today, but you guys know that of course we are going to start with a word. So you guys, you know, I'm kind of new to this, but I know that God is calling me just to give the word to you guys and it's just helping me grow in my walk with God. So when you feel in your spirit that God is calling you to do something, please do not ignore it. You may feel fear. You may feel like how me, like you pick me to do this, but God has a gift for all of us. And I feel like this is really my gift just to give you know the knowledge to you guys of the word and just to encourage you guys in your walk with god so as usual before i get on here i pray i have my bible in my hand and i just ask god to just give me the word that he wants to get out to you guys and of course it landed on the chapter kings two kings and um, basically, it landed on chapter 19, which is Isaiah assures deliverance. Um, to be honest with you guys, I have not read Kings yet. My goal is to read the Bible from front to end. And your girl is on Leviticus. Leviticus, Leviticus, yeah. Um, but yes, I so I finished um, Genesis, Exodus, and now I'm on Leviticus. So basically, what's going on is you have the king of Azariah. You know, he's trying to take over and dominate all the nearby countries. And of course, he's not a man of God. So he's taking down all these nations. He's doing it successfully. His chest is puffed out, which God does not like. He's set up all these um, altars and stuff for the gods that he praises and worships. And th these are not God, capital G. These are lowercase g gods. And so he's not a man of God. He's an evil man. He wants to dominate all the countries around him and enslave the people. And so he's basically took down all these nations. So now it's time for him to take down the people of um, Jerusalem. And at the time, Hezekiah was the king of Jerusalem. And he's a man of God. You know, he's faithful. He's a descendant of David. He's a man of God. He follows the word. And so he gets news about the king of Azariah is coming for Jerusalem. So he gets worried. He panics. And at the time, there's a prophet named Isaiah. So he comes to Isaiah. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because me and the names. He comes to Isaiah. And he's like, oh, my gosh. You know, the king of Asariah, he, he's came to my people of Jerusalem and he's trying to scare them. And he sent, you know, his people to tell them like, look, we took down these nations where you guys are going to either follow us and stop um, praying to your God, capital G, or you guys are d done, you're dead. And so, you know, Isaiah comes to Hezekiah. He's like, don't worry. You know, I got a word from God. And God is saying, you know, you're, you guys are a good nation. You know, you're a good king. You follow my word. And therefore, don't worry about the king of Azariah. You know, even though he's defeated all of these nations, you are protected. Like he's going to come, try to come and I'm going to turn him and lead him astray. And he's going to end up dying by his own sword. So to make a long story short, you know, the king came, he ended up um, being confused and returning back to where he came from. And then ultimately, both of his sons ended up killing him. That's why um, the Lord said he will die with his own sword. Let me make sure I quote. It says, I will cause him to fall by the sword in his own land. So his sons ultimately ended up killing him okay so i'm just going to read from chapter 9 so this is 2 kings chapter 19 verse um 5 and this is kind of what gave this is what you know hit the nail on the head 
So the servants of King Hezekiah came to Isaiah the prophet, and Isaiah said to them, Thus you shall say to your master, Thus says the Lord, Do not be afraid of the words which you have heard. And these were the words of King Azariah, with which the servants of the King Azariah have blasphemed me. Surely I will send a spirit upon him, and he shall hear a rumor and return to his own land, and I will cause him to fall by the sword in his own land. Okay? So that just goes to show you if there is a problem in your life, you guys, that just seems like it is just a huge huge giant and you know you just you're worried about it day in and day out God has you and I know I come on here and I say that a lot but I want to preach to you guys that having faith is like the biggest thing that God wants you to have out of everything you know in your walk with God faith is is like the most important thing like that's something that I'm learning that you what is it you live by faith and not by sight and there's so many things that I feel that God is transforming in my life and I know that he will do that for you guys if you just have the faith I think a lot of times you know, we want instant gratification. We want God to answer our prayers immediately. And when we don't see these things working in the um, physical, that we become worried. And I'm telling you guys, I have been a worry wart. And that's why you guys haven't been seeing me because I've been a worry wart for the past two to three months. And I feel like it's taken over my life. But then I'll pray to God and I'll say, God, just give me a confirmation or just let me know that you hear me. And I'm telling you guys instantly, he will show me confirmation by the little things. And when you get into the Holy Spirit and you're reading your word and you're praying daily, and that includes also fasting, because I definitely believe when God calls you to fast and when you're in the Holy Spirit, you'll know like there will be signs um, that he's calling you to fast. And for me, I just put the plate down. I know people like to fast off of social media, you know, off of, um, being on the phone or watching TV. But for me, your girl loves food. So I know God calls me to turn the plate down for my fasting, but especially when I fast, I see confirmations like that. So I'm at a point in my life where I'm no longer doubting God. God hates double-mindedness. And if you pray to God once, he hears you and you just have to let it go, do your part, read your word and listen to God and be obedient and he will fight those giants in your life. So you guys, I'm definitely, please believe in a few months, you guys will hear testimonies from me, but God has not called me to give those testimonies. I believe that this King's chapter was basically just, you know, saying that, don't worry for my people that are with God and that follow God. Don't worry about anything. God has you. All those other nations, those people that you see falling at your feet, those nations that are being defeated, don't worry about what you see because as long as you're of me and you're a child of God and you have faith and you're being obedient, won't well, no sore come near you. So I hope it's motivation for you guys that God will defeat those giants just have faith you guys have faith have faith have faith have faith I think I'm gonna get faith tatted on my arm or something because that has definitely been the word the anchor for me in these last few months is that you just gotta have faith and God God got you so what I'm gonna show you guys is a bunch of tools like I mentioned that I love that have just helped with my skincare and a lot of these items I had no clue about about a year or so ago and I have just learned like I am a skincare girl I just believe in trying to learn new ways techniques to do my skincare use new tools and if it's easy enough and it's going to save me money I'm definitely going to try them out so how I'm going to organize and show you guys this, these items is I'm going to go from 
easiest, like easy to do and not too burdensome to products where you may need to do a little research and a little practice before you get it right. So we're gonna go from easiest tools to you know tools where you may need to learn how to use them a few times before you get comfortable. Um, I am gonna leave links to how to use some of these products below. So, and I'm also going to leave my Amazon store I've created a whole list of all the products that I'm mentioning so you guys can easily shop. So yes. So the first product that I'm going to get into, I got you guys, if you watch my shorts or if you follow me on Instagram, you know, um, you've probably seen the face roller and I love these. I really, really love these. They do come with two, you guys, but unfortunately, I keep these in my refrigerator, my skincare refrigerator, and I open the door and one like slid out and broke. I primarily use these because number one, they're cold, right? Like I would highly recommend that you leave these in your freezer or refrigerator. And so when I wake up, if I have bags under my eyes or dark circles or just like puffiness, I like to use so you normally have two in your hand and I just sweep it over my face. So after I've washed my face and I put on my face oil and moisturizer, then I use this because it's easier to sweep across the face. And literally you guys, I have this glow and I think it's from the coldness of um, this glow, but I have like this natural glow on my face and my face is like, it depuffs it. So I really like to use these in the morning time more than at night. And these are also good to relieve headaches. So if you wake up or just in the middle of the day and you have like a sinus headache or whatever, you could just place it here and the coldness will relieve that. So the key here is to make sure that this ice globe is cold. This also helps with kick starting the circulation because as you're pressing this into the skin, you are um, draining your lymphatic system and it's helped and it will help with circulation. So I just love these overall. It's also very calming and I definitely see like a temporary glow when I use these ice globes. Okay, so the next products that I really, really love you guys are these face silicone scrubbers. These things are super amazing. Like at first when I ordered them or when I had seen a girl using them, I was like, mm, I don't know like what's the deal with them. But when I actually use these things, they are amazing. So basically the gist of these is that they help like get the dirt off your face. So if you see, these tools have like the little beads here and it's kind of like an exfoliation pad on them as well as this one here, which is for larger areas of the face. But let me tell you guys, when I have a face full of makeup on and I just use my hands, I cannot tell you, I will wash my face three different times and I still have makeup on my face after. But with these bad boys, this will literally help get that makeup off. So what I'll do is I will wash my face and while the soap is still on my face, I'll just go in with the scrubber. So like for this one, I'll use on the cheeks, you know, the chin, the forehead, and then um, this one is for smaller areas. So like around the nose area, under the eyes, and literally in one wash, I have the makeup off of my face rather than freaking using all this soap to try to get the makeup off. So I really, really love these things. They are really effective. What I also like is that they are hypo, hypoallergenic and they're also antibacterial. So you don't have to worry germs, um, you know, living on these things, which I really, really like. I pretty much just like rinse them off after I'm done, let them air dry, and then you could just keep using them until you feel like they need to be replaced. But these are very effective and they will really help get all that dirt and grime out and they exfoliate. So if you're in a rush and you don't feel like doing all this extra exfoliation, you can literally use this in combination with cleaning your skin and it's going to lightly exfoliate the skin. Okay, and speaking of silicone scrubbers, I also like to get them for the body. I know you guys have seen these everywhere, but these body scrubbers are amazing because again, these are also hyper um, allergenic. They're odor resistant and 
you don't have to worry about these things collecting germs. So I really like to use these. They definitely feel like nice going across the skin. And I would say that these are a good replacement for loofahs and washcloths because you know, washcloths and loofahs, after a while, they do hold a lot of germs and bacteria, and these do not. So I really like these. They're gonna also lightly exfoliate, so they're going to get off any dead skin cells. And what I just learned about these is that they actually help with cellulite. So I was like, great, I will definitely make sure that I'm using these a whole lot more to just work on any cellulite, any areas that I wanna get right for summer, okay? This next product, again, this is something that I use a lot in my reels and everything else, but it's called the Marshmallow Whip Maker. And let me tell you, I love this cute little thing. Basically what you do is you take like your gel um, face wash and you put a little in here, mix it with water, and you literally just press it down like this. And what it does is it makes like a rich foaming um, soap solution. And I like to use this is because I feel like the consistency of the soap when it's foamier, it just cleanses deeper and it cleanses better. And a little goes a long way rather than just using it, like pouring the gel into your hand or wherever. You can get more out of your cleanser when you foam it. So I think this is super cute too. I like to use it in my content, but in combination when I use this, I think it's really effective with these face silicone scrubbers because just that foam and it just feels like you're getting a deep clean and it more easily gets my makeup off when the cleanser is um, foam rather than like a gel consistency. So this thing was super inexpensive and it gives you the measurements here of how much water to put in but I really thought that this was neat and it's actually effective. It's not just for looks because I know I got a comment on one of my shorts like, you don't need that and what's the point of it? You could just use your hands, but no, this thing a little goes a long way rather than just pumping a bunch of soap into your hand and it's not as effective. So yeah, definitely um, look into getting this marshmallow whip maker. And another thing too, I wanna circle back with these. So, you know, when you use your hands, when you're washing your face, it's really not effective to me. You're just making a mess and you have to cleanse at least three times when you're wearing makeup. And it's, I have proven <laughs> to myself that doing it with your hands is just not effective because I will wash and wash and wash like I mentioned and still have a bunch of makeup on my face. So these are really effective in getting the makeup off of your face where your hands just cannot. The next tool that I'm gonna show you guys is my lovely face steamer. I really, really love this face steamer, you guys, for a multitude of things. The number one thing is that this face steamer, it just like makes me feel like I'm at the spa. And just when I want a pamper day, this steamer is definitely going to be a part of that routine. And some of the benefits of a facial steamer, number one, I like to use it before I cleanse my face because what it's gonna do is if you just let it um, absorb into the skin for a few minutes, it's gonna open up your pores and therefore all of that dirt and oil that's trapped into your pores is gonna come out a whole lot easier. And one of the number one reasons why I like to use a face steamer is because it also helps absorb products. So for my girls like myself that spend a lot of money on facial products and you're not seeing them working, it's probably because you should use a facial steamer just to open up your pores prior to using the product. So I definitely would say get a facial steamer for that because it also helps where you don't have to use a lot of product and your skin is going to absorb the product a whole lot better. Another thing that I like to do, which of course a steamer is gonna moisturize your face, but I never put on any of my skincare without my face being moist because you're literally just wasting product, okay? Um, also, it softens your skin up. So like if you're going, you'll see a lot of estheticians while they're doing face extractions. They also have the steamer going because your pores are gonna be open the whole time. Your skin's gonna be soft and it's going to allow for an easier extraction process. So I just love this steamer. They're really inexpensive on Amazon. So I will definitely 
list a couple of options for you guys on my Amazon storefront. But yeah, definitely get a steamer. I have not used this for a while, I must admit, but I'm definitely gonna get back into facial steaming because your skin will love you. The next product, this probably has to be one of my favorite tools to use for my skincare, and that is this little blade here, which you guys know it as dermaplaning. And this little tool here is super effective, you guys. I know you guys have probably heard about dermaplaning or when you look at this, you think that this is just good for removing hair off your face. But not only is it good for that, but this actually is like a very gentle exfoliation for the skin. It's gonna get off dead skin cells and literally my face, you guys, when I use this thing, it just feels like I have a whole new skin on my face. My skin just feels baby soft. There's a glow. And what I like too is that once you remove those dead skin cells and once you've um, removed the hair off your face and then you do your makeup, you'll notice your makeup goes on a lot more flawlessly and that your skin just looks better overall. So I would highly recommend dermaplaning at least once or twice a month. And what I like to do is I will slather my face with a whole bunch of face oil and that just helps the blade glide um, a whole lot easier and then I just like to dermaplane in a downward motion. I love to get the corners of my nose and I primarily grow hair like on the sides of my face. So I like to pay attention to those areas more. And then of course, you know, if you have a unibrow, you can use it on your unibrow, but this thing is amazing. I remember the first time I used it, I could not get over how smooth and just beautiful my skin looked afterwards. The only thing I would say is that when you use this, your pores are gonna be open. So you wanna be careful with using like uh, products afterwards that uh, may burn like any active ingredients because it will burn. But me, <laughs> I'm a G, no, I'm playing. I, I still slap on it because it, it'll tingle and burn a little, but there's no like adverse effect. But this little tool is super powerful, you guys, but you want to be careful because it still is a blade. Don't like press down too hard because you could cut yourself. But I love this thing. Like I didn't even know that it exfoliates and gets off the dead skin. So what I like to do is I'll use my steamer that I showed you guys before and then I'll slather on the face oil and then I'll use it. Then afterwards I'll wash my face and then use my ingredients, my active ingredients or whatever, my moisturizers and I'm telling you guys, you will love your skin and the way your skin looks without makeup when you use this. And it is so time for me to dermaplane, so I'll probably be doing that tonight. So the next tool that I wanna show you guys that I know you've seen everywhere are these jade rollers. And these things are amazing. They're almost like the globe, the ice globes, where they're really good to deep puff. And for me, I really like to use these when I put on like all my serums and my moisturizers because it definitely helps to press in the product into your skin. And it's just super relaxing, you guys. I feel like at the end of the day, when you've had a stressful day, the best thing that you could give yourself is some pampering. And I just feel like this just relax me, relaxes me and puts me in the right state of mind. So I just like to do this at night after I did my skincare. But this also helps like if you're a teeth grinder or you just have like pain or just like tension on your face, this definitely helps for that. So if you have tension in the jawline, you can concentrate on the jawline, tension up here, this will definitely help for that. These really help to relax you as well as give you like a temporary glow. But yeah, I love these things. They definitely like more than anything put me in a more relaxed state. Okay, the next product is the Gua Sha. I know you guys have seen the Gua Sha everywhere. I have a couple of these, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys. When it comes to how to properly use the Gua Sha, I've watched a couple videos. I'm gonna link one below for my girls that like to do things properly, but <laughs> me, I just go with the flow. Like for me, I feel like this area here 
is for like the under the eyes and then like this longer area is for the cheekbones and stuff. But again, this is another one that's gonna help with like elasticity, it's gonna help with tension in the face. And if I didn't mention, the gua sha started as a Chinese medicine um, practice, which of course, you know, come to the US, it becomes like this beauty thing. Gua sha actually means scrape away illness. So this tool was actually used more to like get the toxins and to just like put you at a more relaxed, calm state. So this was used like as a medicine technique other than beauty. So I really feel like the gua sha helps with tension in the face. Obviously, if you're continuously going up, using this in an upward motion, it's gonna tighten your skin and give you a nice glow because you're helping drain the lymphatic system. So I would say the gua sha tool is definitely great. I have heard girls say that it has like helped with the, um, you know, the way that their face looks as far as like if your face looks more round, this is going to help slim out the face and really restructure your face depending on how often you use it. I feel like to get those results, you need to probably be using this thing almost every day. <laughs> but for me, it's relaxing. It helps bring that circulation back into my skin, which is ultimately gonna give me a temporary glow. So. Again, I will leave a cup of video, one or two, showing you how to properly use this thing, but I do love my gua sha. Okay, so the next one is my dry brush. Now this one, I definitely need to be using more often because this dry brush really has a lot of benefits, but you have to be using this thing consistently. It's going to um, smooth the skin for sure, and it also unclogs your pores. So what I like to do, obviously, before you get in the shower and you wet your skin, you want to use this on dry skin and you want to brush in an upward motion. And this is also good for body circulation, which is going to drain your lymphatic system. It's going to help um, with clogged pores. It's going to obviously help to get rid of dead skin. So I feel like this is a great prelude to exfoliating your skin. Um, really love this thing. It also helps smooth out the skin. It helps to tighten up the skin. So for my girls who are getting ready for the spring and the summer, like myself, I've been working out, but of course I want the additional, the additional benefits I'm a dry brush and it are just gonna help boost the workouts that I've been doing. So this is definitely a game changer, but you have to use it consistently. I would highly recommend using um, the dry brush at least one to two times a week to be able to see results from it. And another good benefit is that after you dry brush and you got all the dead skin cells off, just like some of the face product or the face tools that I've showed you guys, it's also going to help your um, skin care, like your lotions and your body butters that you put on your body absorb a whole lot better because you've removed all of those dead skin cells. So like I mentioned, I have to admit that I am not consistent with this because sometimes, most of the time, I like to just hop in the shower and go. But I'm telling you guys that this is, you're really gonna see a difference in your skin overall. So as I mentioned, there's a lot of products I have not been using, but that I'm going to start back using because the benefits are endless. Endless. Next um, product that's a body product, or really for your feet, is this stone um, foot scrubber, pumice scrubber, whatever you wanna call it. But I pretty much keep this in my shower and I'll put like some shower gel on here and literally this is going to save you from those dry, crusty heels. And I pretty much um, just scrub the back. I'll scrub like the top where my toes, like the end part of my toes. <laughs> I will scrub using this tool and this is a lifesaver because I get gel on my feet. So I don't need a pedicure every two or three weeks. I literally get a pedicure at this point. I would say like every other month just because this will save you a whole bunch of money. So get gel. If you don't get gel pedicures, definitely do that because if you don't know, gel will last a whole lot longer than regular nail polish. Yes, it costs a little bit more, but to me, it just looks more like presentable and looks more like professional, in my opinion, than regular nail polish. And 
it dries like that because you put your feet under the UV light and you literally, once it dries, you can put your socks, your sneakers back on, your boots, whatever, and you don't have to worry about messing up the nail polish. But in addition to that, this is going to save you money because you can keep your heels nice and smooth and sandal flip-flop ready, and you don't have to worry about always continuously going to the nail salon spending money for pedicures because I don't know about y'all, but my pedicures be costing some money. We're talking close to $100. So me going twice a month <laughs> is not gonna happen. So again, I just use this. It's really easy to use. Just scrub the um, hard, crusty areas. And I did get this from Ulta. I'm also going to include another Pumas one that I really, really love that I order off of Amazon. And I use it in combination with this um, callus remover gel. And that's really gonna eat away at all that dry skin. So yeah, definitely make sure that you have one of these in hand. Love it. Now, we are gonna get into some more like professional tools um, that you may need a little practice with, but I'm telling you, once you get the hang of it, you're gonna love your skin and you're gonna save a little bit of coin um, from going to an esthetician because both of these tools that I'm gonna show you guys, estheticians definitely use, but they are safe and you can use them at home. So the first one is called the Face Skin Cleansing Scrubber. And I should have opened this up. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this before because it was definitely new to your girl and I had to do some research before purchasing it. And it is 100% safe to use at home. And good, all the little pieces are in here. So basically this is how it looks. It looks like this little remote control thing here and it has a top on it. If you take it off, you see this little fancy blade here. And yes, you guys, I have not used this tool and I've had it for at least a year. I know, I know, I know. But this is an amazing tool that your girl is going to be using soon. So basically this thing has a timer and based on what part, what area that you're using, the timer will go off. So that's how you know that you are done using this tool. So what this tool is, is it's a face scraper. So basically it is opening up your, pro, uh, it is opening up your pores. It's going in a whole lot deeper, a whole lot deeper than what your um, exfoliating scrubs can do like the little exfoliation wand I showed you guys, this is gonna actually go in deep um, and really get out all the dirt, all the grime, all the oil that's deep down into your pores. So basically how you wanna use this thing is you wanna use it when your face is wet or you can have the steamer going. So if you sit down, you have the steamer right up under your face and it's just going while you're doing this because you wanna make sure that your skin is moisturized the whole time that you're using it and you literally just scrape your face and it doesn't have to be hard this is also a good tool for hyperpigmentation this is good for um, skin acne because it gets out all that gunk and all of that bacteria which we know equates to acne it evens out the skin tone so it's going to address any issues of hyperpigmentation it's also going to get rid of fine lines and wrinkles, and there is definitely a technique to using this. So again, like I mentioned, I'm going to list the video down below. It's not that difficult to use. It also comes with um, some scrubbers here, some exfoliating um, silicone scrubbers that you would just put on the top, and those are for cleansing, because when you use this, you wanna first start with the cleansing mode, then you'll go down to lifting, and it'll show you here when you press the power button, you can switch between the modes, and then you go from your cleansing mode to your lifting. Lifting means to start getting all the gunk out of your pores, and then you'll see these ion settings here, which are for um, putting the moisture back into your skin. So this thing is super great. A lot of estheticians use it because it's another form of pore extraction without the painfulness of using like one of those little things where they actually like dig into each and every one of your pores. And this is gonna be just as effective. So I'm gonna leave the video down below. 
I'm gonna watch it because I have not used this tool and I bought it so long ago, but this is definitely a gem, especially for my girls that like to go and get facials and get pore, um, get pore extractions. This is going to be your best friend. You're gonna get clearer skin. Your skin is going to be glowing. And if you really, really have an issue with acne, this is going to help get into those pores and get rid of all of those, um, those germs that are causing your acne. And you wanna use this two to three times a week if possible to see results. The thing about all these tools that I'm showing you guys, um, most of the tools that I'm showing you guys is that you wanna be using these things um, consistently to see the results from them. The next tool that I'm gonna show you looks very, very interesting, huh? Excuse me, I don't know if you guys have seen this before, but I'm gonna put one of the tools in, in here. Basically, this is a high frequency wand. When you cut this on, there's like an electrical current that's gonna come up here. And as soon as you press it on your face, it's gonna like buzz. And the first time I use this on my face, I use it on my bare face and I freaked out. Because basically you have this twisting thing here where you can turn down the electrical current or you can go way up with the electrical current. I would highly recommend that you start off really low with the amount of electrical current that's coming up here. But when you press it on your skin, you'll see like a color glow and it's different colors depending on the tools that you're using. Um, one thing I will say when you use this, tool, this wand is that you wanna buy these face gauzes, which I will um, list in my, on the Amazon list for you guys, but you wanna get these because initially I had seen this girl using this on a, um, where was I at, on Pinterest or something, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta get it, it looks so cool. But I'm telling you guys, when you first put this on your face like I did, I was like, oh my gosh, I can, it's the weirdest sensation and it's, it's almost, I won't say painful, but it's uncomfortable. So when you, um, when you use it in combination with that face gauze, you don't have to worry about any uncomfortableness because I was like, yikes. So anyway, there's four tools that come with this. This first one is called the mushroom. And I wanna make sure that I get it right for you guys, what each tool does. So the mushroom is for broader areas of your face, so like your forehead and your cheeks and your chin. So any problem areas that you have on your cheeks, your forehead, you would wanna use the mushroom tool. And the next tool, this one is called the tongue tube, and this is how it looks. And this one is supposed to rid acne and reduce the appearance. So if you ever have any acne and you're not into the pimple patches and stuff and you just want to <laughs> use an alternative method to get rid of the acne, you would use this one. And as you can see, it kind of has like an arch to it and you would just place it on those acne areas. And this is supposed, this tool is supposed to help get rid of the pimple completely within two days. The next tool is the, um, this one is called the comb. So this one I love out of all of them because this one is supposed to address any like hair breakage, any scalp issues, any alopecia. If you use this consistently, you will see healthy hair growth, especially for my girls who may have issues with hair growth around the edge line of your hair. You literally just comb through those problem areas and you're supposed to see healthy hair growth. Now again, this is a tool that I do not constantly use, but I can say when I was using it on my face, I was seeing areas clear up, so I would highly recommend to use this, but use it consistently. So you have the comb feature, and then the last one, what is this one called? Yeah, so this one, I don't have the name of it, of course, here. Um, Oh yeah, this one is called the Bent Tube and this also is supposed to help eliminate acne and reduce appearance. And I'm sorry, you guys, I told you that the, um, I told you guys the tongue one was supposed to get rid of acne in two days, but actually this one gets rid of acne within two days. And as you can see, it has this little, 
circular tip at the top, which you literally put this on the pimple and it's supposed to get rid of those pimples within two days. So you guys, this is really a good tool. And again, I have here that you wanna use it two to three times a week and for 10 to 15 minutes on each area. So yes, this tool out of all the tools that I showed you guys, really takes a lot of time and a lot of consistent. Make sure that you're consistent in order to see the results. So you definitely have to have patience to use this wand, but it definitely has benefits. It's definitely a product that estheticians use and you can literally use this from home and it's safe, but definitely make sure that you get the face gauze because you will be like, wow, when you first use this product. And that is it, you guys. Those are all of my current tools that I've used and haven't used yet. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's any tools that you guys have used that I showed, I would hot, I would be highly curious to know how you like those tools and the benefits that you've seen. Don't forget to like and comment on this video. I love you guys. I hope that the word today and the beginning of the video really brought some hope and some encouragement to you guys because I'm telling you this walk with God has definitely started to transform your girl's life but I love you guys and as always I will talk to y'all real soon peace